bit of a pinch this morning because Brianna, her eye is having an issue. She's seeing these flashing lights. It could be serious and the eye doctor wants to see her ASAP, but the weather may not cooperate. It's just pounding snow. It's coming down really fast. I don't know if the weather's better this morning or this afternoon because the snow's coming down. It's getting colder. Anyway, we decided we're going to go. We've all got to go together. We've got to knock out the chores and we're going to hit the road in this crazy weather. Do you think we're going to make it? <laughs> I know it's kind of... It's snowing pretty hard, but it's not real cold yet. So we're thinking it's better to go to my eye appointment this morning rather than this afternoon. I'm just thankful they could get me in today. Let's check the roads right here. Whoa. The anti-lock brakes worked, but we're kind of sliding. I really do not like going out in this, but from what I researched, I could be getting a detached retina, and that can actually make you go blind, so it's pretty important <coughs> that I go this morning. I just hope that we can get home. I know a lot of people think that these roads aren't that bad, there's not that much snow, and that's true, but um, around here the roads get bad really quick because they're super curvy and steep, and like we're about to drive literally over a mountain and be on the very edge of a mountain. And I'm not trying to be dramatic, I'm just saying that we do need to be careful in this kind of weather. But I also feel it's super important to get my eye looked at because I'm seeing flashing lights all the time. I did ask them a couple times, like, do you really think I need to come today, like right now? And they're like, yes, we really do think that. Because I would much rather be at home watching the snowfall and making delicious food for my family. And we've grown up in these mountains and driven in these mountains our whole lives, but we just know when, we know when like conditions are like not a big deal and when they're a little bit more sketchy and this is kind of a sketchy, just the way it all is falling and the way the roads are, we just know it's kind of sketchy out. Okay, we made it to town. Main roads are much clearer as they usually are. They're the first ones to get worked on. Um, the baby's asleep. I nursed him before we left, so you're just gonna drop me off. See ya. See ya. Bye, Mom. Bye, Mama. Bye, Mama. Because the baby's sleeping, I was sending the girls into this little coffee shop to get coffee and some water and a couple donuts and they walked back to the crosswalk and crossed on the crosswalk. I was like, I was like, where are they going? <laughs> oh, they're going to use the crosswalk. That's really smart, girls. Very, very smart. I don't think I taught them that. <laughs> I think that must have been Brianna. Okay, they were all out of plain donuts. Okay. So we just got the less sweet. Oh, good. So we had to get vanilla frosted. No problem. Great job, yummy. girls. We yummy, got the yummy, less yummy. sweetest. And those are made not too far from here. Hey guys, look, no one's driven on this snow. Wow. Baby's asleep in the car. We are at the park. Kids are on the playground. Bree's done. It only took him 30 minutes. So we got here and she said, I'm done. So I'm giving the kids 10 minutes to play. And then we will go home. And that might be a one way trip because the snow's still coming down hard here. Let's see though, I'm just hanging out with the baby here in the car. It's the lot of a daddy. I actually love it, sitting in the car drinking coffee while the kids play in the playground, watching the snow. You know, something that's really weird about a day like today, maybe some of y'all can help me out with this because I never went to school, so. Where are all the kids? I know that school's out. We just drove all through town, drove through multiple neighborhoods, past two playgrounds, three parks, and we haven't seen any kids. Where are the kids? It's a snow day. Anyway, any ideas? Hi. Where are your glasses? Well, they have to, they have to. 
make them. They're not baked yet? They're not baked. Are your eyes dilated? Oh my goodness! Thank you so much. <laughs> it's so wild. <laughs> Does it hurt to look at the sun? Can I see my yeah. All that to say, what's wrong with my eye is that I have my vitreous, which is like this gel-like substance that is around surrounds your eye, is detaching from my eye. So she's concerned as to why it's happening now. And then she's also concerned because it's not completely detached yet. And that's why I'm seeing light flashing in my eyes. And what can happen is if it one, with the vitreous detaching can actually cause a hole in your retina, which can lead to becoming blind. So you have to have that taken care of right away. Anyways, she was really encouraging and she wants me to come back in four weeks and of course, if my light flashes get worse, or if um, if anything gets worse, then I'm supposed to come in right away, so they can make sure I don't go blind, which is nice. But I want to know what I want to know is why this is happening now, because I'm really I'm pretty young for this to happen. So I guess that's probably what I'll be researching for the next bit. <laughs> It's just frustrating. She was a very kind doctor, and I'm sure she's very good at what she does. I just find a lot of times the doctors, though, they don't dig any deeper, and like I want to know the deeper. I want to know why. I want to know if there's anything I can do. Though it seems like there's not. Like once the vitreous in your eye is gone, it's gone. I um, love you. Which leads later in life to eye problems you know more chances of degenerative diseases and things like that yeah i'm not like afraid or scared but i just i'm sad yeah it's like why is this happening to my eye when i'm so young mainly and then i am a little concerned that i'll get a hole in my retina or tear in my retina. i think all the snow has fallen that's gonna fall but the temperatures are dropping so the roads make it icy tonight we're trying to decide whether we should go out to meet with some friends this evening or stay home. Probably staying home is the safest answer because it's supposed to get to like 17 degrees <laughs> before the night's done. No. Folks, thanks for joining us today. On this beautiful, beautiful day. It has been another great day on the homestead. Or really off the homestead. Mostly in town. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>